Hey guys, I wanted to first start out and say sorry for day 5 through, uh, 6 through 10. I haven't had a chance to upload them yet. Um, I did do the drawings, but I haven't uploaded them yet. Um, they're on my Facebook, if you want to go check them out there, just befriend me and I'll accept. Um, just write me a message, say hey, I'm from YouTube, so I know what, you're not one of those uh, bot things. Um, but I've been working on a project, and that's what I wanted to say. We actually did two, uh, me and my friend. Um, we did a steampunk kind of like decor kind of thing with Nerf guns and we kind of like tricked them out and they were like, cool and I'll actually put those up later, I don't have pictures of those, but I'm doing another project and I'll go ahead and switch cameras now to show you. Okay guys, so here it is. Um, what it is, is a steampunk music player um, for your iPod or iPhone and how it works is, it's really snug, I made it, um, like really, really, I hollowed out the innards of a book. Um, and I've actually already glued the book together, and I should have recorded before I've done all this. Um, sorry. <laughs> what I did is I took an old book that I got from a bookstore. Um, it's just an official encyclopedia of sports from like 1940 some crap. Doesn't have any purpose, so I used it, and it had like a cool texture. And I uh, laid some paper towel on it and brushed it on with some gold. And I'm actually going to go over it with some bronze up here and around this area. Um, what I've done is I took a watch uh, bracelet and just wrapped it around here to kind of give it some, get some feeling that it was, you know, just steampunk looking. And I actually have some more stuff to put on. This is kind of like a dial, and then you have your play buttons, and of course they don't work. You probably know that. And it does increase the music sound, and it just looks cool in general. You just press your button. Hear the music coming out out there. And if I take it off, it does give it that Victorian esque sound. It's got the uh, record player kind of sound to it. Um, but all I did, if you want to know how to do this, I probably will make a quick tutorial on how to do it um, after I finish it. I'll probably go step by step on what I did and kind of have some diagram kind of stuff drawn out. But I took a drill, and I drilled a hole right here in the book, and it was uh, about an inch bit, and I stuck a piece of pipe in, and the pipe runs all the way right here, all the way under here. And when you set your device in right here, the sound just pumps in, and the only place for it to escape is over here. And of course, it's going to dampen the sound a little bit, because I used a book, because most people that do this make them out of wood, but I thought a book would look really cool. And it does look really neat. And I'm going to brush these pages um, like a shiny gold copper kind of color. And I've still got to do the back side. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you all that. Um, when I do finish it, I will put another video up, kind of a, a full full video, and show you. Okay. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video this week. And if you have any questions about the actual, um, about the actual steampunk device, uh, feel free to leave me a comment or a question. I'll kind of... This microphone. I'm gonna buy me a new microphone. <laughs> this thing sucks. There we go. Set a paint tube on it. Um, it looks like this from the front, and I'm uh, like I said, I've got a lot of work to do left on this, and I'm probably gonna try to bend this piece out to make it look more like a uh, an old record player kind of piece. Um, I don't know what that's called. Um, but if you have any questions about it, just leave me a comment and I'll kind of get back to you, uh, try to get back to you on how I did something or um, what I used like material wise. Um, the middle pieces, I used this, the actual book ceiling part. I meant to tell you that I actually just used some flour and water and I brushed uh, about every three pages. I would just brush some and lay it down and it would soak through. And pretty much the whole entire book is one big piece. I'm not going to pull it because it'll come apart, but, but that's just how I did it. And, I brushed this, the outside layer, and it looks like gloss uh, with the same stuff like you use on a uh, Halloween um, pinata. There you go. Can't think for a birthday pinata. It doesn't have to be Halloween. Um, but that's the video for this week. Um, I'll try to get day th day six through ten up really soon. Sorry about that. Um, it just is. It's been hectic around my house, and I haven't got a lot done. So if you have a question, leave it in the comment below.